Hi guys, I was going to take a break today, but um, I happened to look at someone's uh, YouTube page in regards to the Watts case, and I just want to address the questions that are asked here, because um, I don't understand why someone that is a small YouTuber like me would state something like this. How are some of the YouTubers covering this case able to afford to not monetize their channels? What does she mean or he mean? I don't even know if it's a he or a she. Um, how can we do this covering this case able to afford to mon not monetize? Well, one, I did monetize and um, you don't get a choice. YouTube chooses to monetize you and um, I don't understand what the YouTuber is indicating there. So let's look at the next one. From what I can tell you, it takes a lot of time, work, and effort to run a free YouTube channel. She's right. He's right. It does. It takes a lot of work and time. And, um, yeah, I, I've been doing it for free. <laughs> can you believe it? Um, I don't know what kind of a person they are. <laughs> um, because what they're doing is for free. So why are they indicating we're doing something for free when they're doing something for free as well? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know if the person's trying to get views for this or what. But um, yeah, everything that I've done up until this point has been done for free. And um, it's because of this. Are they covering the Watts case out of the kindness of their hearts? Yep. Sure am. Um, I'm sorry you don't understand that people have compassion and empathy. But yeah, I am covering it out of the kindness of my heart. Now that I recently got monetized, I will start making money. But yeah, up until now, I've been doing it for free. What are you trying to prove by saying this stuff? Okay, and then let's talk about this comment. If you really watch the pictures closely, these people, especially Chris and the children, don't look like the same people. I've seen pictures, Shannon or Shannon, that look different. Looks like one set is actors and other are real people. I still feel like this was a psychological psyops. Wow, the big jar of peanut butter on the counter is a big what? I do believe if this is real, the real Shannon or Shannon, please stand up. One of them definitely had a mental illness. Well, um, I would have to say the jar of peanut butter. Um, okay, it was a big jar of peanut butter. But Chris isn't allergic to peanut butter. I don't think Shannon was allergic to peanut butter. Right? So, I mean, I don't understand what they're insinuating there. I don't get it. And then, um, they look like different people. Well, go back through all your own pictures and look and see if you look different in different pictures. I do. I look different than my profile picture. I mean, I don't understand what they're trying to get, what point they're trying to get to. And one of them definitely had mental illness. Well, all of them, I think, had a little of mental illness. However, so what? I, I don't know, guys. I, I'm just, like, irritated that I, like, even came across this YouTuber. Like, I'm so mad about it. Like, it's okay to have an opinion and I can respect it. But then they start bashing other YouTubers. Like, we're being paid or something to um, stick up for... Uh, Shannon or the kids or saying that Chris killed Shannon and I believe AV killed the children. Well, I'm entitled to my opinion. I speak with another YouTuber that opinion's different, but she doesn't say I'm a psyop or that, um, I, I don't know. I'm just irritated that they want to uh, throw 
money around in this. Yes, I did it for free. Now I am monetized. And um, if the government wants to pay me to continue talking about uh, Shannon Watts the way that I am, I'll take it. They're going to send me a check. Happily, I'll take it. But nope, not getting paid by anybody. Okay, these are actual comments on this person's YouTube. And to be honest, I actually feel sorry for CW. To me, he seems like a guy who only wanted for everyone to be happy and forgot about himself. And when he realized it, she made sure he would suffer. He will suffer. The sad thing is that she managed that. Not only he lost his kids, but he is being punished for it and will suffer until his last day. There are so many issues in this case that are obvious and should be addressed, but everyone is turning a blind eye. I don't get it. Too much work, I guess. Um, I can't even believe somebody would feel sorry for the guy. That's weird, right? I guess it's maybe someone that's in love with him. Um, yeah, there are definitely some issues in this case, but feeling sorry for somebody that admitted to murder murdering their wife? Come on. How do you feel sorry for that? I don't understand that. Okay, here's another one. This was after the comment of feeling sorry for Chris. Well, I understand your point of view. To me, there is no single piece of evidence that he murdered his kids. Okay, I agree with that. Um, besides the fact that he had to um, admit it. He said he did, and that's why the charges were put on him. But I don't necessarily agree that he murdered his kids. But there's a good chance that she did. That Shan Shannon did. And if that is the case, everything happened after he saw his kids dead was just a state of shock and a fear and panic. If you had have reasonable punishments considering the situation, maybe he would be forced to dump them. And another thing is that it is not unusual for people to bury dead body on the place. They know very well if this kind of unplanned incidents happen. Happens. Think about it if he wants would want to kill them all surely he would plan it on a different day and bury their bodies somewhere else i think in colorado there's plenty of choices this way he had to deal with his job not being late bella's school shannon watts's appointment etc he did not plan it i don't think he killed those kids he killed murderer of his kids which lots of parents would do if they would get the chance Okay, but see, I, the reason I pulled it up is because I understand your point of view. That's she's She or he is replying to the person that feels sorry for Chris. Okay, um, let's see here. And it was definitely premeditated. Um, I don't think that they have really looked at all the discovery information. It was preplanned. It was premeditated. It was preplanned. Let's say that Chris didn't kill any of them, and I agree with you. This was still pre-planned. Um, so, I don't know. I just, uh, some, I'm trying to look at other people's point of views on this, and it's just coming off of this person's YouTuber page that's saying that other YouTubers um, are just, are, are basically she's insinuating we're not doing this for free. And I am here to tell you that I did it for free. Let's see the next one here. Okay, so I just want to emphasize again this comment. From what I can tell you, it takes a lot of time, work, and effort to run a free YouTube channel. Yes, that is correct. It does. But you do this to build up your subscribers and put enough time and effort into it, and then YouTube will monetize you. They will pay you. It's like penny per view. I mean, it's like dirt cheap. So if you eventually ever want to make a living with YouTube, you have to pursue, pursue other avenues with your channel. It's not just YouTube is going to pay me a million dollars now. I mean, so yes, it's out of the kindness of our hearts, or at least I can speak only for me. It's out of the kindness of my heart that I did this YouTube on the Watts family because I feel passionate about it. Um, I'm able to connect with Shannon and her children 
And this is why I did it because this is what my opinion is. And that's why I have my channel. So, um, there's your, there's your answers to your questions. All right. Adios. Like and subscribe or don't. See ya.